Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today I'm going to show you how to build a jet band in Second Life. So what's a jet band? Well, it's like a jet pack, except it's not as intrusive. It's a small prim that I wear around my arm that reminds me that I can do special things. Now, why would I need a jet band? Well, there's a problem in Second Life, and let me show you. If I hit the home button to fly, and I go up, up, up using the page up button, I find that when I get to a certain altitude, and that's 200 meters, I can't go any higher. And that's a real bummer. Because in Second Life, you can not only build on the ground, but in the sky. And we're going to build some stuff up here. And I'd like to fly around and see what else is up here as well. So I need a device that will help me go all the way up. And that device is a jet band. So how do I go about scripting such a device? Well, there's someone who has helped us out quite a bit. His name is Jeff Heat. I emailed Jeff yesterday and said, hey, can I use your code on the web? And he said, sure can. And you can find his website at www.heatonresearch.com. So today I'm going to show you how to grab some script and throw it onto a prim and build a jetpack fast. So here we are on Jeff's website, Heaton Research. And Jeff has actually written two books that are going to help us out. Let's go to his bookstore. One is Introduction to Lending Scripting for Second Life. And the other is... Scripting Recipes for Second Life. I've actually read both of these books. They're excellent for the uh, beginner or intermediate person. And what we want to do here is go ahead and go to one of these. So Jeff's selling both of these books at a great discount, $9.99 for the PDF ebook. So if you're on a budget, hey, this is a place to go for some great script. In addition, Jeff also distributes his script on the web. So if we go to Downloads, You can see right here, Scripting Recipes. Click on that and go ahead and save that to your desktop. And I've already done that and unzipped it. And we're going to take a look at that folder right now. So I've downloaded Jeff's code from the web and unzipped it. And here it is in SL Recipes. Let's click on that. And you can see Jeff has organized his code according to chapters. And we're interested in Chapter 11. That's where the Jetpack is. Let's click on that. And now you can open this code up in Dreamweaver or in Word. Let's open it up in Word. So I'll go to Jetpack. I'll right-click and go Open with Word. and we'll hit OK. And there's the code. And all I'm going to do is copy this code and take it over to Second Life and paste it onto a prim. So let's do that right now. So highlight the code and right click copy. And let's go to Second Life. So here we are in Second Life and we're going to put this code onto a prim. Now when it comes to programming and if you're brand new at this I always give people advice, don't try to go out and write programs, just start by modifying code. So a great leg up here is Jeff's code that we've gotten, you're going to want to buy the books, it'll explain how the code works, and we're just going to take that code, we're going to put it on a prim, and we're going to modify it. So let me show you how that works, so let's go ahead and grab a prim, so the right click, create, and we're going to choose a ch cylinder, make sure you have cylinder selected, and let's bring that out to the stage. And where we want to go to is content. And in content, you can see there's something that says new script. So what Second Life does, it always gives you script. And I actually accidentally uh, clicked twice, so I'm going to delete that first one. And let's take a look at that script. And this is their generic hello script, and it's got a state entry. And if you want to learn a little bit more about Second Life, you can read in Jeff's book about states. And it has a touch start. When, when you touch this icon, it's going to print out touched. Let's try that. So let's get edit for a moment. And let's touch it. And there you see touch. So the code does work. But that's kind of boring. We're not going to use that code. We're just going to cut and paste Jeff's code into that. So let's click back, right click, and edit this prim. Go back to content and double click on that. Let's rename this uh, script so we know what it means. And we'll call this Jet Band. And now let's double click on that folder. And up comes the script. So let's highlight that script and let's paste Jeff's code in here. Now, in Second Life, you can't use a right click to paste. So what you have to use is a Control V. So hit Control V. And what we've done, we've replaced the code that was there with Jeff's code. So you want to make sure that all the code's replaced there. And now we've actually got a working uh, script. We're going to hit Save to make sure it compiles. And you can see down here is a message saying compiling successfully. And it did. And Save Complete. And now we're going to test and see if this works. So let's go ahead and get out of this. And get out of this. And I'm going to attach this to my body. 
I'm not going to do a very good job of it at first. So I hit more, go to attach. Let's just attach it to my leg for now. And let's see if I can ascend into the atmosphere. So I hit home. And woo, there I go. And look, there's a little altitude reading down there. That's great. Let's see if I can get above 200 meters. Ooh, there's something up here. I haven't seen that before. And you can see I'm ascending up here. And I can already see objects that are here that I was not aware of. So let's go back down. We'll do a crash landing here. Whoa, here I go. Hit home just before I hit the ground and page down. Don't want to hurt the guy. So that's pretty good, but the band doesn't look that cool. So I want to make it look cool. I want to put it on my arm. So let's go ahead and hit the Alt uh, key so I can zoom out here. There we go. And I'm actually going to detach that there. Uh, and uh, oh, it's gone. Where is it? Well, let's go to my inventory. And go to. Uh, recent items, objects, and there's that object right there, that prim. To make sure that's true, let's right click and edit. And you see there's my script, JetBand. And I'm done with the script for now. I'm going to come back and modify it. But what I want to do is actually make this a little bit more attractive. 